like this. Why do they do this? Why? Why oh why? 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 I have a, can I just have like a, a personal, maybe kind of like personal assistant, maybe? Like, or not even, not even that. I just need someone to like work the computer. Is that a thing that I can do? Can I have someone to work the computer for me? And now I've got flipping. Oh my gosh. All right. I think we're live. I think we're live. I think we're back. I think. We're good. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Sound and picture much, look much better. All right, well, that's good. So this is basically just back to my old setup. So there you go. That's that's what we get for trying to, uh, trying to have nice things, trying to improve ourselves. We just just go right back to to what we knew, what we knew before. My goodness gracious. Well, thanks for sticking in there. Um, I'm not surprised that it, the stream started with 12 and now we're at five. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll wait just a little bit um, for uh, for people to join back in um, with the third, fourth link. I don't know. Who, who knows now, really? I've got to go and like delete them all from all the places that I posted them. Uh, just an absolute mess. But we shall not let it dissuade us. We shall not let it dissuade us from uh, from exploring this fantastic little card game that just popped right to the top of the BGG hotness list. Now, uh, what was I saying before? Yes, so um, so it's been a while since I've streamed. Obviously, um, apparently that that means that I'm just completely rusty and have no idea how to work. Uh, um, but, uh, but yeah, it's been a couple of weeks. I'm back, ready to, raring to go. Um, thanks for putting up with my technological issues. And, uh, yeah, here we are. It's, uh, it's time to play some Regicide. Now, this isn't re I, this isn't, like, real Regicide, because I think getting your hands on one of those decks at this point is probably nigh impossible. Um... It's been, that, that game now has been sitting at the top of the BGG hotness for about a week, I think. And now I'm pretty sure there's like a secondary market of like bootleg regicide copies and, um, you know, like secondhand people buying them to flip them on eBay for hundreds of dollars. Um, that's the kind of thing that happens, I guess, um, when you're hot, when you're so hot. Um... I've never, I've never, I've never had a game at the top of the hotness charts, so I'm excited. Um, here I have a game right here, this deck of cards, and uh, and this is uh, this I should say is the Enigma deck. Now this was an absolute saga on Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure it took me like it took them like two years to fulfil this, um, and that is not an exaggeration. Um, two years to get this this deck done, um, but it is it, I'm quite fond of it, and I like that they kind of look like zombies. So it's like nice to be able to slay the the royals and the zombified royals, if you will. Um, but yeah, so time to time to really simple, but it's very, very difficult. And I there's quite a lot of crunch involved. Um, quite a lot of crunch involved. Now, you can it's designed for multiplayer, but there's a solo mode, if you will. And um, and the 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 multiplayer kind of uh, the multiplayer kind of revolves around this like hidden information kind of mechanism where the players aren't allowed to tell each other what they've got in their hands so they're all playing cards onto the same playing field it's a cooperative game um, and they're all playing cards into the same playing field but no one knows what they're going to play so there's a bit of like messiness there and, and kind of ah you know I I didn't want you to play that or whatever but um, in the solo game, obviously, no, no such problems. That's why we don't like to play with people, because we don't have to deal with those kind of things here. I would imagine, and I'm not certain about this, but I think the solo game is rather hard. Um, and maybe just even a little bit harder than the multiplayer game, although maybe that's just my own excuse for not having won it, despite having played it many, many, many times over the past few days. Um, that, that's the mark of a good game, right? Is that like, even though I knew I was going to play it on stream today, I was like, I'm going to have a quick couple of games just before, like, to get going, you know? Um, but essentially, um, what we're doing 
Um, we're setting up the deck, and, uh, and I'll show you how that goes. And then we're basically... Um, yeah, that's why. Um, and basically, we are looking to kill all of the royals. So as you might imagine, you know, it's not, it's not a new uh, theme per se for a, for a 52 card game. Um, let me get these both on camera, just, just nice. Um, yeah, not, not particularly new theme for a 52 card game, um, you know, killing all the royals. But it's tried and tested. You know, everyone likes killing royalty. And I should say that the artwork on the actual deck is just gorgeous. It's right my alley. It's like that kind of like flat color block, really cool angular designs of all these like, it reminds me of, um, if you guys have iOS, it kind of reminds me of that. It's like flat, blocky, kind of chunky, really neat, um, and just gorgeous, like really, really cool characters. I'll actually show you um, what they look like because there's a, there's a companion app where you, that you can play this on. Um, so let me grab this is my like spare iPhone that I use for mostly doing webcam stuff. Um, so this is what the characters look like. Actually, I might just this at the top because it's quite a helpful app. So this is what the characters look like. Obviously, excuse the massively just <laughs> smashed screen. <laughs> so that's what the characters look like. They're really, really cool. There's these jack of uh, these these hearts, which are like kind of like PayPal characters. We've got barbarians, skeletons. This guy looks like the bad guy from Mulan. It's a yeah, so that that's what we're dealing with. Maybe I'm gonna put this like up here, and if you can see it, then 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 there we go. It'll be a nice little companion for us to play with. Um, but essentially, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lay out both jokers. The solo game, we get two jokers to use as like basically our get out of jail free cards. These allow us to refill our hand when we cannot do anything else. We can do that twice. If we can't do it a third time, then we lose. We've got some royals, and what we're gonna do is shuffle them. Um, based on their uh, cards, card type, uh, rank. Yes, rank, that's what I was gonna say. So we're gonna shuffle the kings and put those on the bottom of this deck. We're gonna shuffle the queens and put those on top of the kings. And then we're gonna shuffle the jacks and we're gonna put those on top of them. And this forms the castle. Um, the castle is essentially well, it's full of royals, isn't it? So it's got to be de it's got to be destroyed. There's only there's only two ways about it, uh, only one way about it, I should say. Um, yeah. So here we are. Um, that's uh, that's the castle, and we're going to flip the top card. This will be our first enemy, and you can see on the on the companion app it says select your current enemy, so we can select our current enemy, and it tells us how much uh, health that enemy has and how much attack, uh, how much damage they're going to do to us. So it's a pretty neat. Um, yeah, little companion. I've never really played an augmented card game like this, so I'm I'm kind of a fan. I don't mind it. I mean, mostly I'm I'm you know I'm a big believer in fully card only, you know, paper only kind of uh, kind of games. But I don't mind this. It's quite nice. It's kind of like the best of both worlds, maybe. Maybe I could say that. It's like you know you don't have to keep numbers in your head, but you also get to hold cards. So. So, uh, what we're going to do is shuffle this, and our hand limit is uh, eight in the solo game. In the um, in the multiplayer game, I believe it varies based on how many people are playing, um, but don't quote me on it. And we'll just shuffle these up, and uh... yeah, you can play analog. Yeah, there's um, you can play analog for sure. There's um, there's a couple of like fan made trackers if you want to track health and attack, you could likely just remember it. Essentially, you're just keeping track or, or just like write it down. So like you can, you're tracking health, you're tracking their attack value. Um, if you play, I'll go, well, yeah, okay, let me go over the rules. Um, let me go over the rules just real quick, or at least like some of the rules. So let me find a card from each suit um, to start. Right. So, um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of, like fan-made trackers where you can put cubes or pawns down or whatever and, and markers or whatnot. Um, but essentially, we're going to need to keep track of the health and the attack value because, well, one, we want to get their health to zero. That that's just kind of makes sense. And we do that by playing cards out of this tavern deck here, or out of our hand, I should say, um, onto the discard pile. And that 
the corresponding number does the corresponding number of damage. Pretty straightforward. Their attack forces us to discard cards. So you see this jack right now is an attack of 10. Um, at, the end of our, at the end of our round, we'd have to discard cards with pips adding up to 10. So in this case, I'd be forced actually to discard this 9 um, and a 2, for example. That would add up to 11. That would be a perfectly reasonable way to take damage. When we... We play cards though, we get some special abilities, special powers, and those are based on the suit. So each suit has different powers. The red powers happen immediately, the black powers happen later on in the phase. So the diamonds allow us to draw cards, that's D to D, nice and easy. Um, so when you play a diamond, you get to draw that many cards from the tavern into your hand, again up to your maximum hand limit. When you play a heart, you get to move cards from the discard back into the tavern, which becomes very, very useful because you're going to need to cycle through the deck multiple times to beat all 12 royals. When you play spades, it actually lessens the enemy's attack. That's why you need that counter or something to keep track of what their attack is. It lessens it for the entirety of their presence on the board, if you will. So when we play a five of spades, it acts as like a shield and so when they attack, they would only be doing five in this case. Um, and the app helps you take, take care of that too. And then clubs are kind of like your massive giant club, you know, weapon, weapon club, right? You're going to smack people over the head with them. And it doubles the number on the card. So this, instead of hitting for nine, would be hitting for 18. Nice, juicy, big club. That's it. Those are the rules. Um... Each, like I said, each um, each rank has a different attack and health. So jacks start with 10 attack, 20 health. Queens start with 30 health and 15 attack. And then kings start with 40 health and 20 attack. You can imagine that as they're doing 20 attack to you, you're having to discard cards adding up to 20 out of your hand. That's quite a lot. Um, that, that's, that's quite a lot of cards, usually. So let me shuffle these up again So as I've just kind of you know, gone through them. Um, and yeah, that's really the game. The game is to get to the very bottom of the royal deck. Um, straightforward, simple. Oh, another thing to mention, I should say, five, six, seven, eight. The other thing to mention is that you can't use the suit power of the royal that's currently on uh, in play. So right now, I cannot. I can play diamonds to attack. So let's see. I can play this diamond to attack. I can do ten damage to him but I cannot use it to draw cards, so I don't get that special power, which is difficult if you are, um, yes, it's difficult. So, for right now, um, as, we, as, we, as we see it, um, we know that this jack has got 20 health, we know he's gonna do 10 attack to us, um, and I'm, I'm looking at this seven of clubs and saying that's a pretty good shout. Um, the seven of clubs is gonna do 14 damage, and so that'll take him down to six, if we then are able to do an exact amount of damage to him, um, i.e. I, like the exact amount of health that he has, get him down to zero, instead of putting him on the discard pile, we actually get him to put him right back on the deck, and that gives us a, basically, jacks are worth 10 in hand. So that's a nice, uh, that's a nice little kind of mm, perk, I suppose, for doing your maths right. Um, I think what I'll do, instead of, so if I played this, I would hit him for 14, but back. So, there you go, Badgers from Mars. I, exactly. Hello. <laughs> um, it's nice to have you. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we're going to play the spade first. Um, given that, um, we can still do 14 damage afterwards, but he's going to hit us for less. So, Six of spades, and again, this is where the companion app comes in helpful because we can confirm the attack, and look at that, it does all the math for us, don't need to do anything else. We do, however, need to discard up to, or uh, four or more, I should say, from our hand. So, I mean, likely you're going to choose the, the lowest card. Um, oh, thanks. Um, I did, yeah, thank you so lot. The rules are well written, so it's not too difficult to, uh, to, to, to speak them back. Um, oh, Faraki. I wish I wish Faraki was here. That would be amazing, but that's a shame. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's let's play a five. Um, oh, you can double tap if selecting a single card. Didn't know that. Oh, hi, Will. Nice to see you. 
I don't know what time it is there, but that's it's got to be late or very early. Early. Kids that I know, kid, look at this. We're augmenting our experience with calculators and such. I should say, uh, well, I'll cover the I'll cover the animal companions when we get to them because I think they're really, really cool, and I didn't figure out why they were so good until about my fifth play, <laughs> and then and then they finally kicked in, like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so anyway, we can we can play little animal companions, which start with A. That's an ace. Again, nice and easy to and or to remember. But uh, 10 a.m. pretending you work perfect. Oh, been there, mate. Very much been there. So we're gonna discard this five. Um, that's that. That was a long-winded way of saying we're gonna we're gonna discard that five. Um, they've gone. They've got done a two, the four damage to us. We've discarded the five. That's brilliant. And we have got 14 left to do to them. As previously mentioned, this club will do double damage. And so if I double, t is it gonna? Oh my! Look at that. Double tap. Oh. So I can select the seven of clubs here. Uh, confirm attack, and it's done the exact damage. So as soon as we know that, this is going to go back onto the top of the deck. This stays in our discard pile. Crack a dawn. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I, I'm, I'm running on about, I'm running on about two hours of sleep today. Um, as you know, I'm, help, I'm, I'm helping Kate with um, her dissertation research, and we had a deadline to hit. I was doing the reference pages. It was, uh, yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit much. The five into a separate fighting. Oh, a separate discard pile. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Heal it back while fighting. Don't they all go into one discard pile? Am I getting the rules wrong? While I'm waiting for your answer, I will continue to play. Um, so I'm going to flip the next card. Um, so 9.55 p.m. That's a nice time in New York, kind of twilight. All that the shimmering lights on the Hudson. I used to sit, I, when I worked in Jersey, I used to sit on the Hudson right by, everyone was doing their crabbing at this time. Six is played onto the table. It's a separate discard pile. Oh, I see, oh. I see, I see, I see. So that does, the cards used to defeat an enemy state on table. Ah, well then I've been playing it wrong, I think. Okay, so then there's a dis separate discard pile. Very well. Um, right. Okay. So then, so I'm, I'm so I'm if I'm reading that right, then or if I'm understanding that right, I can never get these back. Is that correct? Oh man, I'm I'm less than I'm less than 15 minutes into my stream, and I've already I'm already missing a rule. Missing a rule. <laughs> um, right. We've got a jack of spades, which means we cannot use any spade purposes. Once enemies killed, all playing cards go to the discard. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. So once it's done, yes. Okay, that makes sense. That's that. Okay, I understand now. So, so now I've done. Now I've done that. All of these go into the discard, and I can get them all back. But while I'm beating the enemy, and they're just going toward. Uh, they're going onto the table. That makes sense. Hello. Okay. Um, so, we've got a jack of spades, which means we cannot, um, yeah, we don't discard attack until death. So that means that if we play hearts, we cannot get back the cards we just played, um, to, uh, to, like, put back into the deck. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Right, let's go and get this, uh, let's go and get this jack of spades here. This skeleton-looking fellow is pretty deadly looking. Again, starts with the same, um, yeah, of course, makes figuring out how much dealt, that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. There, there you go. Um, but again, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. And it lets me experience the art without having my own copy of the game. <laughs> right, so we've got Jack of, uh, we've got Jack of Spades. Um, again, he's got 20 health. Um, we could theoretically play something like... Th we've got three cards in our discards. So we could bring them all back if we wanted to. It's not a brilliant play because it's going to take us down to 17. We could start drawing cards, but because we've already got five in our hand, like an eight seems like a bit of a waste. It allows us to draw just three. So there's something to be said there. Although he's going to hit us for ten, so we're probably going to have to get rid of at least some of these. Um, I think I might. Um, let's think, let's think, let's think. If I go for the three, I'd have to discard like a seven and an eight, or an eight and a nine, and that would be pretty bad. Or a ten, of course. Um... And I, I typically, if I've got a ten of diamonds, I want to make it the last card that I play. 
um, before I can drop all the way back up to my hand limit of eight. So I think um, I'm going to play, hmm, I think I'm gonna play this eight. It's not a great, it's not a great play, um, but I don't think it's the worst either. So this goes here. Uh, this is my discard, and then I'm gonna because I played this, I immediately because it's a red card, I immediately draw um, up to eight cards, up to my hand limit. So I'm gonna draw four in this case. I've got my jack back, which is nice. Three and four, and I've got some spades or a spade, which is nice as well. The you think eight is the best? Yeah, I think so too. Um, so he's gonna do ten attack in terms of our discard, and I think it might be my hearts. Given that I just got a nine, um, that'll give me a nice big powerful reshuffle. <laughs> um, that'll give me a nice powerful shuffle back into the deck. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this three and a seven um, and that will be good. Right, next turn and you know I think we're gonna have to, oh I forgot to actually play it on my uh, on my app didn't I? So that's an eight. Um, which is confirmed, lovely. And we got to draw eight, it told us about that. So 12 to 10, and I think this nine is looking pretty good. It'll be nice just to be able to discard a card, um, or discard only one card, yeah, I should say. We could get rid of this A. Um, three is best, keep your three. Uh, well, too bad, we've, we've already, we're done now. We've already done. Um, Let's think. We can. Um, gosh, the pressure's on now. I feel like the pressure. I feel like the pressure's on. Um, so we can um, play a nine to take him down to. Oh, that's correct. He is immune to our spades. Yeah. So we've got no. We've got absolutely no. Um, way to shield him. So then it might be an interesting time to bring in this animal companion. So this animal companion, this nice eyeball looking fellow, we'll, we'll ignore his, we'll, yeah, he's, he's got math on his side. Um, this interesting looking uh, familiar here, this floating eyeball, is going to help us um, kind of boost the next card we play. Um, so I think if what we do is something like that nine, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, maybe a nine. Or it could be this. One, two, three, four. We get to draw another four cards from this nine. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, <laughs> mom is nothing. So, nine's going onto the, onto, the, uh, onto the pile. However, we can augment it, if you will, with this lovely familiar. And what that does is allow us to activate both suits, both powers from both suits, yeah, it's, it's the basically this is the it's the whole stream is just me losing my train of thought. <laughs> um, so both powers from both suits are going to be applied. That means we're going to draw up to ten cards, and we're going to double the amount of attack. So that's twenty. Yeah, seriously, that is twenty damage um, going his way. So that's a pretty good way to uh, to clear out this skeleton fella. So um, let's put these, I'm supposed to be playing these here now. I've, I've, this is this is throwing me off. So I'm gonna play these, that's a 10 times two. We're gonna draw up to eight again. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna add, we're gonna add our little animal fellow, oh, his little honey badger, which I just love. And then, and then this fellow, we didn't get to attack him with, uh, or we didn't get to defeat him with the exact number, but we only took one round of damage from him, and that's not too bad. Where? Where's the squirrel? So now all of these go into the discard, am I right in saying that? All those go into the discard, and we're going to flip our next character, and it's this little brutal horned character um, who is going to face us next. Now, we want to be aware that, well, one, we can't use any clubs on him, or at least we can fight him with clubs, but they won't be as good. Um, if you know the total kills, then you can just tap the skull on the app. The, the, that's brilliant. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so if we know the total kills, then we can just kill him. That's great. Okay, that's nice. So you don't have to like go through the, the rigmarole. 
Um, I wasn't sure if there was like some way of like the card counting on here, but I guess there's not. I suppose like as you go through the royals, it, it will obviously like count the royals that you've done. Um, but I wasn't sure if it counted the other cards, but that, that makes sense. Um, so, of course, you can choose any cards because they all come back into the discard anyway. Or they can come back through the cast or the tavern anyway. Right, so we've got a Jack. Um, he's got 20 health. That's, uh, that's good for him. I'm saying that, I mean, this might be a pretty good shout given that we can just do a nice amount of damage and get him down to, uh, down to one um, attack. So we'll only have to discard say this this animal or maybe one of our twos. Another thing we can do though is if we have pairs or triples um, whose pips add up to less than 10, okay, so that's either two fives, three threes, uh, three twos, uh, or four twos I should say, um, we can play them all at once. So much like our animal friend here, we can play these two twos, for example, and we'd get both the benefit of the diamonds and the hearts, all four cards from the deck. Now, I don't think that's the best play, given that he's still going to hit us with 10. So, I think I'm, th I'm, thinking, that's the I'm thinking that's the play. If we put nine down, um, it'll do us a nice chunk of damage. If we can get him, confirm attack. If we can get him, um, if we can get him exact, that would be brilliant. So that would be a nine and a two, for example. Um, now, do, I've got a pretty good, I've got a pretty good set of draw drawing cards here. I've got a ten and a jack, so that'll help me refill my hand maybe on the next round. However, we do need to be careful, of course, that. Jack of Hearts. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I thought we were under, all done with Jess, but I was going to say that if we pulled the Queen of Diamonds, we'd be kind of scuppered, but that's all right. Um, we'll have one more Jack to get rid of, and he's a heart, so that's okay. So, yes, um, I was going to say what my plan is, is to do a nine and a two, um, and so which two do we get rid of? I think we're going to discard this two for now. That's going there, and then we're going to do... We're going to play a nine. That goes there. We're going to hit him for nine, like so. And we are going to shuffle this and throw nine cards back under the tavern. I think throw the five. Okay, throw the five next turn, you think? Or so you think, oh, keep the animal? Yeah, I suppose. I, I, that's, that's what I was saying. Like, my first... Well, my, I was going to say my first few. My first several games i just was like oh get rid of a one that's nice but then you kind of start to think about you know you start to think about okay well those animals can really help you boost a hand yeah nine plus nine is 18 yeah good shout um so um what are we doing are we, how many are we drawing nine i said one three four five six seven eight nine. Oh well i only need to leave one on the table one two three four five six seven eight nine. Oh hello oh hello how are you i'm well how are you hi friends <laughs> did you end up working out that prescription or no no mm, that makes sense i'll go tomorrow then sorry for interrupting that's all right let me give you a kiss on the head i gotta go into session that's nice I love you. I love you. Come on, Mabesies. Bye, Mabel. <laughs> oh, my that's my, that's my little familiar right there. Hi, baby. She's like, no, I'm good. Here. She's good. She's going to stay. They're on a walk. Whoa. I know. Healthy. I know, so healthy. Stranger is my wife. That is Kate. Um, and... And my dogs as well. Here they are. <laughs> You're going to hear their snortling in maybe two minus two seconds. So, um, what have we got? We've put nine on the bottom. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah. so um, you're right. I think we throw out this five. Um, this five of spades, this should be base up. This five of spades get th that gets thrown out. Even though it's more than a one or a two, the two is going to do some nice stuff because it's going to put him right back on the top of the deck. And the one is going to help us draw more cards from whatever we decide to combine it with. So... Yes, that is the play. I think that is totally right. We're going to play two of hearts. We're going to click on that skull the first time. Let's see. Oh, look.
look at that. He goes right back on the top of the deck. And our next fellow is already set up for us, this papal bishop fellow, this cardinal. He's, we're going to regicide the heck out of him, aren't we? Come on. Let's just regicide the absolute heck out of him. Now, we can, I think... Ah, okay, this is the... This is unfortunate. Well, not, not quite unfortunate, but... I think... Um, right, this will allow us to draw a card, but we'll have to take 10 and take it from one of these. Um, this will do 10 damage, but we're still going to have to take 10... Uh, we're still going to have to take 10... Yeah, this will do 10 damage, but we're still going to have to take 10 damage. So, is the play to actually leave ourselves with the 10? I think it is, you know... Um, Oh yeah, this, sorry, these go back into here, don't they? Um, oh, heal the two. Yes, that's right. Will you suffer? Yes, that's true. Yes, 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 that is true. Yes, that's right. Of course. Um, I didn't. I didn't take the two. Yes, that's correct. I needed to take this. I need to shuffle this and put two under the tavern. Oh, see, this is great. When you get the designers on your side, then you can't make any mistakes, can you? <laughs> all right let's uh let's oh yes i shouldn't have shuffled the two in should i all right clinking egg all right fine uh what was it a nine and a two i think it was these three i think so i could be wrong um let's just do this and we'll call it we'll call it good um i'm not sure it was but there you go so um yes we do get to draw before we take damage that is true so i suppose if we play one of these it wouldn't be the end of the world we can start to get rid of other stuff that we draw yeah okay let's do it we're gonna play this yeah, well, it doesn't matter we're gonna play this jack that is gonna give us 10 attack um and we're gonna be able to draw um up to 10 cards so i guess we'll do that first one two three four five six i think is that right yes that's eight lovely and we've played the jack. See, that guy just arrives in our little war chest now, which is nice. So we can click him, get him out of the way, and we've drawn 10. Brilliant stuff. You say risky. Ah, oh, no, come on. Don't, don't do me like that. I've got all these 10s in my hand. That's risky. I'm a bit nervous about this. Um, which 10 do we get rid of? Probably not the 10 of spades, uh, because we kind of probably want to do that... Um, probably want to do that to get rid of him. Um, although, given that we've got another 10, 10 of hearts isn't going to do... Yeah, we had a jack on top. So we got rid of the jack. Um, 10 of hearts isn't going to do any, any good. We're only going to be drawing this back into the tavern, so that's not the play. 10 of spades is cool because it will kill him and put him on top of the deck, but we are kind of wasting the shield. Ten of diamonds is also a bit of a waste because we are not going to be able to draw anything. If this wasn't a nine of clubs, um, or yeah, if this wasn't a nine of clubs, it would be brilliant. Um, but in, unfortunately, fortunately, this is going to be twenty rather than ten, so we wouldn't get the exact. You, would you commit regicide for it? I hope. Um, so we're going to be doing twenty instead of ten, um, which is not not ideal i mean it's not terrible um and it would well it would it, yeah again it would be such a waste because we'd be able to draw literally 20 cards which is ridiculous um so, so i know look at this it's like a, it's like the best poker hand um if if the aim of poker was to kill the royal family um I put that on the wikipedia Vasco, please thank you and it's embarrassment of riches. Yeah, now I've got to win, haven't I? Um, you say throw the eight in the two. Okay. Um, yes, I think that's I think that's fair. Um, but which ten do I play? That's the question. Or do I just play the jack? Because I've got a do. No, no, because I don't have a jack. I mean, this is eighteen. This is twenty. So I suppose if I throw the if I throw the jack. Um, oh no, that got some discard, sorry. If I throw the jack, then... Oh, you say throw the eight and the two. Mm, all right, 
I'll follow this advice. Okay, I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to I'm willing to take I'm willing to take take prompts. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm not I'm not above it. So throw the eight in the two, and then he's got uh, ten health and ten attack, of course. So we can quite easily um, get around that with any one of these cards. And that's eighteen, which is also pretty good. So do we want to get rid of the spades? It's really, it comes down to what this is going to be as to what the most useful card is going to be, right? So like if this is any one of these suits, then we're kind of less good in terms of our hand content. This feels like a waste. This all feels like a waste. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the 10. Um, I think I'm going to play the 10. I can draw three cards from it. Um, and it's exact, so he goes back on the top. I don't mind it. Um, so he's going back on the top. Oh no, sorry, I draw first. Um, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then, then he goes back on the top. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, that's right. Um, having the ace is good because we can use the draw on top of another card. That is there. That's that's good. That's a good point. Um, right, we've got another one of these. Uh, We've got another one of these culty fellows, and uh, as you can see, um, things are ramped up just somewhat. I've got 15 attack and 30 health, so we're going to have to be pretty okay with throwing that 10 down right away. Um, it's going to lead us to discard, what, five? So I can get rid of... Oh, I hate getting rid of diamonds. It's like, it's the fastest way for your game to get just ended immediately. I think I'm going to get rid of the 7. So here's the play. I'm going to play a 10. So that's going to do 10 damage to the Royal. We're going to... Oh, I keep forgetting to double tap. And then her attack is down to 5. So I think if we get rid of the 7, that's okay. I don't really need any more shields, at least right now. And hopefully if I play a diamond early in the next round, we'll get some more into our hand. You know, fingers crossed. There's a bit of luck involved, but not too much, to be honest. I think this is quite a crunchy, strategic um, little game. And that's that's why I've been playing it absolutely non-stop. Um, right, so now we've got a jack of clubs, and we can just take her out in a fell swoop, can't we? Um, we can do jack of clubs. That's going to be double. And that's going to do... Uh, that's going to do 20. Um, oh, that's correct. Yes, um, we got we discarded this, and these were all for the last person. Right, there we go. And this, oh yes, and of course, this tells us 15 minus 10 is 5. So, yes, there we go. Good stuff. And 30 minus 10 is uh, 20. That's why I've got an app. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need to tidy up my table. I've got an app to do it for me. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose if I start playing hearts. Point taken. Right, we've got some. We've got this clubs, and I think this is. I think this could be the play. I mean, we could go ahead and do this, and draw four. But I'm kind of willing to let it sit for a little bit, in case we encounter someone else next turn. Uh, yeah, there's an app for that. There you go. Um, gosh, that's that's a blast from the past. Um, right, so we're playing the jack, and it's exact, which is brilliant. So, back on the top you go, don't mind it, and we can put these in our discard. Right, now I'm going to remember it. Um, this is going to flip. Is it risky? Oh, bloody hell. I don't mind. Oh, gosh. I kind of figured that might happen. We've got the Queen of Clubs, so we cannot, unfortunately, double this. Um, you've got you to take them. You've got to take the risks where you can get them. I do think this 10 is a nice play, um, but good lord, no, it can't be, because I've got to play a diamond. I think I've 100% got to play a diamond. Um, let's see, what do we do? Well, I, I suppose I could play the 10 and the diamond, can't I? I can do this. Um, this will give me another five cards. It will do a decent amount of damage, and we'll see bad idea to like use your clubs as the discard i found i think so like if i got rid of this and this it wouldn't be the end of the world just depending on if i can pull some diamonds in this next run so i think this is what i'm gonna do that's 11 with draw 11 and shuffle 11 so let's draw 11 first um, just to see my fate oh we've got the queen i remember yes okay uh, that's five six seven and eight we're going to draw 11 from this 
thick old pile. Hopefully we can get a couple of those royals that we missed um, back onto the top. Um, so... <laughs> this is, and I was saying at the start, this is the benefit of the solo game, is that, you know, you, we don't have to worry about, you know, not talk, discussing cards with other people, but in fact, I'm discussing cards with many more people than I would actually be playing with, so... <laughs> that's okay, though. Um, that's okay. It's all on me, um, at the end of the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's all the cards. I like it. S the stack is absolutely... Pumping. Look at that. The tavern is bustling. I'm telling you. It's the place to be. It's the hot spot. And, uh, well, hopefully we're going to add some more royals to it pretty soon. So, um, I'm going to do... What did I do? Ten of hearts and one of diamonds. That little snowy owl. And we drew eleven. And how are we going to do that best? I think oh, I've got to update my Apple ID settings. Goodness gracious. Um, there you go. Um, right. How are we going to do this best? We can't use any clubs. So I kind of already think that is the way I'm going to go. Just get rid of all of them. Um, because then if I do that, we've got 13. It's 16. So it's one more than 15. But, you know, sometimes you can't help that. But at least I can draw. I can... I can't heal anything. There's nothing in the discard. But... Um, I think this is the play, I think. We're going to discard 16. We are going to then think long and hard about <laughs> what our next move is. This would get us four cards. This would get us three cards. This would allow us to... We'd have to discard the this. Or if I played this, we'd have to discard these. That's pretty risky. Um, mm -hmm, three could go down. Okay, hang on. Three could go down. We'd have to get rid of... No, three should never go down. That Then we would have to... No, 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 no. Don't listen to me. We're going to play the six, and then we have to discard 17 and hope that uh, some of this is good. Um, so let's play the six. Um, that is that one. Oh, I can double tap. You know, I, I'm not going to... I, you know, I might never remember that. I'm sorry. One, two. That's no no fault of yours. Um, three, four. Um, and let's see. Um, what have we got? We've got some clubs, which is not going to help us, unfortunately. We've got a twelve. I'll take her down to twelve. Sorry. Sounds like I'm struggling. Yeah, seriously. Um, take him down to twelve, which is not a bad. Well, it's not brilliant, is it? But I could. Oh, no. Oh, yes, hang on. This is the strat, I think. I can play the three, take him down to ten, have this in the next hand. It isn't going to double because it's a matching suit, so that'll be ten. She'll go back onto the pile. I think that might be the way to do it. If I do that, let's just consider this for a second. If I do that, I can get rid of Jack and maybe this six. We don't need to heal for a while because we've already healed back to like 50 cards in the tavern. I think this is the play. So let's do this. Oops, hang on. So we're going to do this. That's three. So three of spades. So I can double tap this. No. What am I, not, what am I missing? Whatever. Um, down to 12. Uh, down to 12 attack, sorry. Down to 10 health. And what did I say I was going to get rid of? This queen, I think? No, no, not the queen. The jack, obviously. Um, oh, do I want to get rid of my last damage, though? Did I miss the damage? Oh, did I? Oh, dear, I need to get rid of 15. Did I need to get rid of 15? Oh, no. Have I gone too fast? Maybe I've skipped a phase. Oh, I need to. I need to go back and take fifteen. I got a bit ahead of myself. Um, so I played ten of hearts. I played ten of hearts. Healed. Oh no, I played these two. Then I played the six. Yeah, okay. I missed the damage. All right. So let's just go back. I think I can just do this. Yeah, lovely. Can't do that in real life. Um, or unless you've got 
people telling you on YouTube um, to do it. So uh, let's think. So we've got, um, right, so now I do need to get rid of 15, which my strategy now falls apart slightly. Um, um, just a wee bit because that was that was I was feeling good, but now I think um, now I think <laughs> now, I, now I think I'm more scuppered than I'd like to like to believe. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these with the understanding I'm going to have to get rid of twelve car twelve next turn once I play this three right. So if I put down. It's always it's always best to play. Yeah, strategy was to cheat. Uh, always, <laughs> always, 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 always. Um, just a sneaky drop of the shoulder, sl slick of the hand. Oh, you think pair of? Th oh, yeah, of course, pair of threes. Yes, 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 yes. And the draw. Absolutely, absolutely love that. That's another thing I keep forgetting. Obviously, is that you can play pairs. Um, so pair of threes gets us six. Uh, shield and draw six, so draw four. But that we'll do that first one, two, three, and four, and then we'll tell the app that we've done that with a three and a three, and confirm. And we're going to draw six. We've done it, and down to nine. All right, that's not bad. Um, we don't, unfortunately. Oh, we do. Uh, yes, we do have a seven as well. That's flipping great. So. If we've got a six of clubs, it's not going to double. We've got an ace, we can put seven cards back. That's less important. We can get that exact damage and put her right back on back in the tavern. So, um, the next level play was to throw out the ten of clubs instead of the six of hearts. No, I'm holding on to this, mate. Oh, this is this is mine now. This is this is mine. I'm I'm t I'm I'm saving this for the next one. We've we've still got spades and. Still got spades and diamonds to, to come. <laughs> yeah, that's about, that's true. Did work out with the draw. Um, right, what are we doing? Um, we're doing... What did I just say? Did I already take damage now? Now I've forgotten. Ah, oh, see, it's happened again. I can't remember. I put down my threes. I put down my threes. That gave us six. I don't think I took nine. So I'm going to have to figure out nine, which will be probably these two. Well, you think the ten of you thought the ten of clubs next last turn, but I'm correct anymore. I think if I get rid of this eight, yeah, deciding I have to take nine damage. So I th think if I take out this eight and the four again, even though it's twelve, uh, I think it's better. Yeah, not ten now. I think we do the eight and the ten, uh, eight and the four. So these go in the discard. Um, yeah, ten exactly. Yeah, ten of clubs is a nuke, and especially now that the next the next one is not going to be a ten, um, it'll get them down to what ten health right away. So now the play is this, which is not twelve but six plus one. We're going to heal uh, seven. Yes and do seven damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are absolutely filling this um, this tavern up. It's it's flipping it's flipping ladies' night in here. We're just it's karaoke, there's a flipping open bar, it's just absolute madness. The locals are going bananas. Um, which two fours we're gonna play? Oh yes. Right, so we've cleared that out. That's good. Um, you're dead now, and you are going for a drink. That doesn't make any sense. But um, you're here. You're a little skeleton. Um, this is an Ace of Hearts. Um, this one? Yes, this one. And these are all going to move into here. Right, we're back with another 30 health. Goodness me, this game doesn't get any easier, does it? In fact, it does the exact opposite, as you might have, as you might have noticed. Um, it makes things harder. So, if we need to play the four, because otherwise we'll have to get rid of it. Um, obviously, the ten is, as Vasoko points out... Um, oh, I didn't need to take the damage for that one because I killed her. I think. I hope so. I didn't. I need. I didn't need to take the damage here, or I didn't need to take the damage there. Yes. 
So if I play the 10, it would do 20 damage, but we'd have to take 15 and that would get rid of all the cards. Then I'd have to play the Joker to refill the hand. So that's not the play. Let's just flip that over. We've discussed that and we'll, we'll take it. Um, queen, same exact thing. We'd have to discard these three and that would be bad. So it's a case of either playing the four and getting rid of these two and then drawing some cards or playing the four and drawing four cards and hope we get lucky. So, oh, Queen of Hearts is worth 15, that's correct. Um, that is correct. So, yeah, so we definitely don't want to get rid of her. Um, and we don't need to shuffle 15 cards back into the deck. Um, oh, so I suppose I could just get rid of the, I could get rid of the immediate, I could get rid of the Queen immediately, couldn't I? Um, or play both fours, yes, that's true. And draw eight. See, this is what this is brilliant. I'm getting better at this game. I can I can just feel it. <laughs> oh dear. So if I play both fours, if I play both fours, then I get to draw and to heal and discard this queen, still have the bomb, and take the hit, fill the hand, keep the ten of clubs. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? That is a good turn. I can't take credit for it, but it's pretty brilliant. Man, that's 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 good. I just I'm having a great time. I love that. So we're going to let's draw eight first. Um, so six, in fact. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I forgot we had the queen on the top. Oh, it's lovely. It is lovely stuff. And then we get to uh, heal eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven in there. So we just give him a quick in the hand and uh, back to the back of the line you go. You're at like the, the back of the line for the, the nightclub. Um, right, so now we need to take 15 damage. We could do it with a club, but we're not going to because that's going to be our absolute nuke option um in just a second so we'll get rid of the queen of hearts 15 in hand yes of course she is and kings in hand. so no, let's remember that um by the time we get there hopefully in one more queen's time so let's think we are going to play the queen of clubs obviously aren't we i mean 15 times two it's a pretty simple way to go about things where we just our queen clubs your queen and our queen wins so, um, we, d oh, yep, yeah, you're right, I didn't, bugger, no, okay, uh, you and four and you and, conf damn, not quite as good, not quite as good then. I suppose we could do the ace and the ten though, couldn't we? It's a bit of a waste of an ace, but it does get rid of her quite swiftly, um, which I don't mind, so again... Um, we don't really care about the spades. Her spades are spades. So, yeah, I agree. It's just a nice thing to have. Um, and I like that you can go back, which is definitely something that is necessary uh, from time to time. So, if I play this 10, that's 21, double, or that's 10, 11, double, 22. And I think that's the play. Um, it'd be nice to like boost a nice big shield later on, but hopefully we can maybe get this back into the, you know, back into the into the tavern at some point. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I think that's I think that's the way we do it. We, we've got to, haven't we? We've got to do that. Um, right. Um, you're dead. You're dead. Uh, well, no, you're not. You're in the bar. And you are a queen of diamonds. Right. Now we might be in trouble. Um, are we in trouble? No, we're not in trouble. We've got the queen of clubs. We're not in trouble at all. We, we're, we're doing... We're, we're, we're in the opposite of trouble. We're in, we're in absolute brawl town. 15 times 2, 30. That's another queen onto the top of the deck. I can't see any other... Any other um, yeah, I can't see any other reason to not do that zero trouble at all um so you're just out of here on the first on the first um, i'm gonna flip this it's the king of spades hello 
Now, King of Spades is pretty tough because you can't shield against him, and as I'm about to find out, he's going to do 20 damage. Um, right, so we can play this 5. It would give us 5 damage to his 40, but allow us to draw to a full hand, which I think is a pretty good play. We'll have some queens in our hand, remember. And, yeah, definitely not as tough as a queen of Di uh, King of Diamonds. That would be... That would be pretty disastrous, actually, at this point. That would be a joker um, waiting to happen. I'm not sure I've made it this far um, without flipping a joker before. Maybe once. <laughs> Maybe one time. Pairs. Yes, you're right. Pairs, indeed. Pairs on pairs on pairs. We're going to draw 10 and do 10 damage. So that is better, um, categorically, than doing 5. Um, so, if we do that, let's draw ten, or six, in fact. Oh, hello, nice to see you again. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and, uh, so the Joker, I should say, yes, uh, let me refresh. The Joker, if at any time, um, either before phase one, i.e., like, before we decide to attack, or before we take damage, which I think is phase four, then you can flip one of these and just... Like, uh, just get rid of your hand. So you get rid of your hand, deal a whole another eight cards. So it's basically like resetting if you don't have any diamonds in your hand, you're not able to draw. Or if you're going to not be able to take the amount of damage that uh, is necessary. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. That's about right. I think I got that about. I think I got that about right. Um... Right, I think we just drew a pretty good hand, but let me think about it. Uh, we need to do the damage, because that is the aim of the game. So, five of, uh, what did I say, diamonds plus five of clubs. That sounds pretty decent. Draw ten, we've already done that. We need to take twenty. Um, but I'm kind of... Um, I would be somewhat hesitant to get rid of this eight of clubs, but... This could be a play if I get rid of a jack, an eight, and a two. It's like a, I kind of want to save my spades because now we know that we're not going to have to, or we're not going to have any problem using them. And of course, discarding 20 flipping pips a turn is pretty difficult. But we've got the queen. So if you've got the queen of spades, we can maybe save her for use later and maybe take down the next king's attack down to five. Um, so, uh, this, I think, is the way to go. It leaves us with some nice draw, some nice attack, a little bit of mixy mix, so maybe get some queen, maybe get some queens back in the tavern at the bottom. I think this is the way to do it. So we're going to discard these. Uh, I hope I don't regret that. I, I mean, it, it seems okay. Um, and let's move on to the next turn, which I think will be... <laughs> um, oh, keep pair. Wait, hang on. No, we can't play... We can't play a pair of... Wait, pair... pair, pair, pair. No, no, no. Pairs, yeah, yeah, we can't play pairs um, over 10. So, like, this would be amazing for 21 damage, um, but unfortunately, we, they've, got to, they've got to be uh, less than, yeah, less than 10, um, unfortunately. Um, but, obviously, you know, the pairs, the pairs are pretty powerful, you know, when you, uh, when it comes down to it. Right, so, do I do 14 and take 20? Uh, or do I... Man, I really hesitate to get rid of this queen, but it, maybe it might be that I have to. Um, I think this queen of diamonds is kind of like... Yeah, like, this is going to be really helpful in the next round. Um, like, really helpful. If we're only discarding five on a king, that is brilliant. But... We're sacrificing the ability to draw. Good luck. <laughs> We're sacrificing the ability. So you're leaving me with this one then. Okay, I, I, I see how it is. Um, so, so um, we're sacrificing our ability to draw some cards, right? Like, if we get rid of these three sevens, no, it would have to be. Oh, it would have to be all three of these. 
Okay, no. So we have to get rid of this, don't we? Um, if we played... Oh my goodness, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be a bit second. Alright, so this is gonna, if I put this down, it's ten. And then we can get rid of all of these. Or do I Yeah, you draw before discarding. I think I put down the queen. Yeah, so I think I think I think I put down the, with that in mind. I think I put down the queen, draw up. Maybe don't have to get rid of three sevens, and then because I've got my other two queens in here, so I know I'm not pulling any more queens. They're all they're all exhausted. Um, but I could have some other stuff in there. I might have some good. I hope I'm allowed to do this. I think I am. Um, I might have some good jacks coming up. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna play the queen of diamonds. Get to draw up and. I really want to keep hold of this. I really do. Um, you're the Queen of Diamonds, aren't you? Yes, you are. Confirm. And we're going to draw 15 cards, which I wish. Um, two, three, and four. So, let's think. Now I've got to get rid of 20. So... I'm always hesitant to get rid of a nine of diamonds because I do like it. If we get rid of, well, there's no way I'm getting rid of nine and eight of diamonds. If a king of diamonds comes up later, then we are really, really scuppered. Um, what does the queen do? The seven doesn't. Yeah, draws. Yeah, not a bad draw, I think. If I get rid of something like, if I get rid of these say I mean obviously like there's part of me that's like I just play the three and the two and get five it's nice and easy um but I think if I play the I think if I get rid of these I've still got some good draw cards I've still got I play the seven beat him up Draw, draw up to up to hand, and then we'll see what the next king is. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We'll play this seven. <sighs> yeah, play the seven. That's gonna let us draw up to eight again. You are dead, but not in the bar. And let's see who's coming to play. Oh. Uh, Right, okay, this is going to get dicey, isn't it? Um, we've got the Queen of Spades, which is brilliant. Um, wait, I didn't draw up, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. So that's my bad. Um, um, I didn't have to take damage because we killed him. Jack of Diamonds is nice. Um, we've got the Diamond King here, though, don't we? So he's not going to be much good at the moment. We could do... Well, we've got to play the Queen, haven't we? Um, oh, hang about! We've got a flipping Ace! Ooh, baby! Hang, hang on. This is going to do us 20, isn't it? And it's going to stop him from doing any damage. Oh, that's a brilliant hand. Look at this. We've got 9 plus 1, which is 10, I'm led to believe. With a shield and a double, that's 20 damage to him and 20 off his attack. And that means we can just chunk him down with whatever we want. Oh! No, not quite. Only stop 10. Not quite. Oh, no. Shield doesn't double. Oh, that was a bit of a... I, I got a bit buzzy there for a second. All right, fine, 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 fine. Shield doesn't double. Oh man. Play the ace with the queen instead. Yeah, I mean that's reasonable. Just extra extra shield. So that's fifteen. Yeah, fifteen shield plus one is block sixteen. And then do uh thirty damage. Yeah? Is that what we're saying? Is Queen a little badger familiar? Is that a badger? Looks like an anteater. I'm about it. I'm fine. He's wrong. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna do it. 
Oh no, it's not an anteater, it's a honey badger. Yes, there you go. Honey badger's my guy. Down to four attack and eight health. And that is something that I don't mind one bit. I think we get rid of this five. We've already had the shield, so we can use shields next time. Anteater's all right, he's pretty good. But Honey Badger's like, definitely the, definitely the guy, isn't he? <laughs> he's the homie. Um, I do not have an eight. No, that is true. I can't get my can't get my king back. Keep the five, you say, because of this. Ah, this a flipping pair again. Goodness me. All right. All right. Faraki's doing the math. I I I can't I can't I can't look. Um, yeah, we have gotta keep the five, haven't we? Um, so do we play the nine then? It's a big shield, but this is a shield of ten and a draw of ten. So yeah, okay, fair enough. Toss the seven. Um, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Nine. Right? Yeah, because we can't use this nine to draw right now. So play this nine. Kill him. It's minus one, which is a shame, but that's okay. That's there. And I think that's good. Who is our guy? It's you. Okay. Well, you know what? The deck is still pretty thick. So I'm not too concerned about getting stuff back at the moment. I don't think... Even if we were to put things back, we're ever going to see it because the deck's still quite chunky. So I don't really care about my hearts at the moment. But this pair, you are correct, is absolutely phenom. So let's do this. We've got... Um, oh no, hang on. Hang about. Hang about. Hang about. Hang about. Hang about. Hang about. We have to play... We have to, we have to draw first, don't we? We have to draw first. If we do this... That is going to be nice, because it will get us 10 from here and 10... No, it won't get us 10 from here, because we've got a heart. But it will get us 10 off, but then we'll have to discard 10, and we're getting rid of a nice big draw, which I think we probably still need. Oh, the two discard piles, you and your discards, I don't... Who made... Who, who decided to be plural? That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, so I'm just being curmudgeon -y. Um, so I think we've got to play the nine and take 20 damage. Oof. Um, we've got to play, or we play the jack, take 20 damage from whatever's in here. I know, right? This guy, thinking he's, thinking he's in, I mean, and, and then he's standing up for the, for the, for the anti to, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, that's true. Just one discard pile and an action area. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Not bad. Um, so, okay to throw the J. Throw him as in, like, discard him? No. Are you sure? No. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Rules? No, none of that. That's all handled by the app, isn't it? I think. <laughs> um... Discard the j just card the Joker. Okay, all right, I'm fine with this. I'm 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 ha again. I'm happy to be carried along here. So nine will fill your hand. That's true. So will the Jack. But I guess yeah, discarding less would be good. Yes, all right, fair enough. Um, so let's do nine on the older uh, Apparu here. Um, and we're going to confirm that with that button there. Draw five. We've got a two, a two, an eight, which is better, and a nine and a six. Okay, that's. That's maybe all right. Uh, let's think. So, 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 so. We've got to take 20 damage. That means that it's like all of those. Why is my... Well, my eyes are immediately drawn to, like, trying to find the exact number, but I don't think that's always the play. This is a play for the attack later on. Uh, now we've got some pairs in our hands again. Um, and these actually... Oh, these pairs are pretty good, though, too, aren't they? That's... Mm, actually, it's not as good. So it's what? That's eight. Mm -hmm. All right. With him. This jack is our only draw card, so we're going to have to hold on to him, I think, no matter what. Which is a bit painful, if you ask me. I would like to take ten off his attack, though. But we're getting rid of so many cards. Eight plus two plus nine plus two... I think that's it. 
I think this is it. 8 plus 2 plus 9 plus 2 is a lot, and I think that's how we get rid of this. I think then we have to play... If we play the... Fives, it takes him to down to 10 attacks, so then we will have to... Yeah, no, so we, we've got to play the jack next turn. Okay, so this is going out, I think. 8, 9, 2, and a 2. I uh, don't know if that was a good idea. I'm not sure. Uh, let's consider our next move, which I think is going to have to be the Jack of Diamonds. Fill the hand back up. Have him on 21. Yeah, okay. Right. It, we're getting to the closing stages here, and it could all fall apart. Um, who knows? Draw 10. 1, 2... Yeah, but if I play... Okay, but if I play the 5s first, then I'm going to have to... His attack will be down to 10, and then I'd have to discard the 10 and I'd have no cards left. Oh, come on. Why does Vaselka get to be right? That's not fair. Not now, last turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay, fair enough. Um, wait, now, I'm, now, I'm a bit, now I've forgotten what I did. So I played this jack down. Oh no, I just played this jack down. Played this jack down, so now I get to draw up to... Is that correct? I think so. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of black cards, but I sense an opportunity to at least get him pretty darn close to something good. This might be nice just to get some shield action going. Um, play the five, discard the J. Play the... Gosh, now I'm lost. I think we're still in it here. I'm just going to carry on. I think that's. I think I'm now. I'm now. I'm, now I'm getting distracted. Um, so we need to do 21 damage. Uh, we can't do that right at this moment. This 10 is going to be helpful though. Um, put the attack into the app. Yes, that's correct. Wait, no, didn't I already do that? I think I just did. You're going to win. Oh my gosh. Well, don't don't jinx it now. We don't say that on this channel. <laughs> we, we we don't say that. No 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 no. Uh, did I? Did I put the attack in this? I don't think I did. Hang on, let's see. Let me just go back and I'll see how much it takes off. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I think I did. He did. Yeah, all right. Faraki says I did. I already put it in. Yeah. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, that was Badger's just trying to help me out. Like, go on, just have another 10. Just give him another 10. Go on. Um, right, we, we've, got, we've got a 20 here, which is... First time here, you don't say he's gonna win. Me mention dice for God's sake. This is gonna do us. This is gonna do us twenty, which is okay. Da, 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 nine of diamonds. What are you talking about? Nine D, ten D, nine clubs. Nine D plus ten D, nineteen. Oh, you're doing the math. Yes, I see. Like it. You're doing the maths again. Um, don't mind it. Um, so yes, he's down to 21 health. So we've got... Um, do we just hit him hard and then hope for the best? I want to save this 10 for the next fellow because he's a club, so we can't do any big damage to him. We can't double our damage, but we can shield him. So, you know, choices. Everybody's got him. Uh, and, you know... I live for this money, I, you know, live to get bread, or whatever he said. Um, I think we do this. I think we do that. We get rid of these. We play a 10 again. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I think that's what we do. We play the jack of clubs, get him down to one health. That's annoying. Um, but I really don't want to use this. Go away. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yes, I'm going to do it. Right, here we go. Jack of clubs going down. Here we are. Boof. I think we might have all the aces in here, you know. One. Two. No, I've got two. I've got two. Uh, I've got two aces. I've got two aces. Oh, badges, don't leave me now. That's right. Thanks so much for joining. It was lovely to have you. And lovely to play your game. Thank you.
thank you for, for releasing it. Um, right, we're down to one. He's doing 20 attack, which is a lot, but we can kill him with something. Oh, no, wait, we need to get rid of our cards first. Here we go. So um, let's think about this. If we do... I mean, I don't like getting rid of these big shields. Again, we know that the... We know that the... Uh, the clubs, <laughs> he's not even get good at the game. We know the clubs guys coming up, so we might as well get rid of some of our clubs because they're not gonna be as useful as they may be otherwise. So that's 12. This is an extra 10. This is the card we need to draw from. So I think that's the only play we can possibly think of, um, we can possibly do. Maybe I just get rid of this seven. Hang on, uh, let me, my brain's whirring here. Is it this? Is this the play? 15 plus 7 is 22. Then I've got a nice shield. I've got two nice shields and a draw card for next for next boss. No, but then I'm going to have to spend one of these to kill him, aren't I? So if I play this, then I've still got a half-decent shield and a small card to kill him with, and I get rid of all my clubs. Yes, that's the play. Okay. Um, 796. So 796 is 22. Play the three of gets him down to minus five. Unfortunately, we don't get him onto our discard, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. We are onto the last flipping king, and we've still got two jokers. We can still mulligan two hands. I mean, okay, I've, I've had a bit of a cooperative game here, so I'm not going to take all the credit, but this was pretty good. I'm, I'm just going to say it. We're down to the final. This is the this is the Mulan guy. Look at him. He's, he's pretty scary, to be honest. Um, not in... Um, yeah, not going to want to meet him in a dark alley. I was close. Oh, no. Okay, I've made a boo-boo, but that's all right. Um, right. Uh, we have to play the Ten of Diamonds because we need to draw. Um, hopefully, we can keep this. We're going to have to take 20 to start, which is a bit bad. <laughs> Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. That is okay with me, I think. This is going to allow us to draw a lot of cards. This is going to be a big shield. I don't mind it. Um, Ten of diamonds will do the damage. Um, so, confirm that. Draw ten. Jack of hearts is fine. This guy, fine. Do I just get rid of them? This will be eleven... With a, draw t with a draw 11, so that would be good. he would be down to 9 damage, which we can easily take off our hand. I think that's a... Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. We've got the Ace of uh, ace of Diamonds, which is... God, yeah, that was really lucky. I only just realised that that was the only diamond we drew. Goodness gracious me. Um, flip it. <laughs> okay, that, that, I, I just, my heart's in my mouth at this point. Um, <laughs> that was a gamble and a half. All right, fair enough. Um, now I realise my mistake. So, t 10... 10 uh, plus 1 is 11. That's 11 shield and 11 draw. So let's put it into the app so it tells me what to do. So 10 of class spades plus ace of diamonds. That's Noel Al coming in very handy. 1, 2, 3, 4. The tavern is nearly empty, but to get rid of 9 hopefully won't be too difficult. I think we just get rid of the clubs, don't we? Then they're, they're useless against him, so we might as well. Get rid of the clubs. Um, that's a total of 10. We've got another ace, but it's not as useful. Well, no, that might not be true. Um, we still do need to draw things. Um, if we do this, we'd have to get rid of these to play this, or maybe this and this. Yeah, okay. So this is a shield of four da, 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 da. pairs. Oh, not the four, because pairs. Yeah, you're right. Oh, bloody hell. All right, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. We'll keep that one in. That's just a, that's one for the looper reel. Um, your plant is thirsty. What is this? Um, yeah, I think we're still good. So we'll play this. That will give us... That's basically the same as playing this, except it will put some cards back in the deck. So I am a rookie. That's the, that's the trick. Um, so we'll put this down... Um, that will be six and four. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we got rid of him. So three of spades plus the ace of hearts will be 
uh, heal four, so that's fine. We'll get at least some cards back into the tavern. Not a lot, but some. Just some. Just some, just some, just some, just some. Um, so let's let's give it a nice, maybe we just draw a nice queen and just, you know, end this thing. Come on. Right. One, two, three, and four. Put that down there. That's all right. We're going to take five damage, are we? Um, did I do this? Yes, I did. Um, we're going to take five damage, so we'll take this heart. Oh, this needs to be face up. Absolutely. I'm going to be devastated, I'm not going to lie. So this... All right, hang on. Oh, if I play the four, he's going to have one damage. <laughs> so that'll get him down to 11. I can pull all of the cards in the tavern. Oh my god. Um, what's the best play? Is it to draw first? Is it to draw first or reduce his attack first? No, it doesn't matter. Reducing, reducing the attack doesn't matter because I'm still going to have to discard the eight, whatever we do. No, I'm not, because I can draw first. Let's do six. Oh gosh, now I'm going to... I'm regretting it immediately. I feel sick. One, two, three, four, five. It's an array of numbers and a king of spades. Oh God, it's so good to see you. I thought you'd never come back. Oh, Bliminek. All right, we're going to discard. Uh, so we're going to discard five, which will be these two. And... Absolute gem. You cannot believe it. What a draw. Look at that. We'd have we would have what we'd have we'd have one left. I think we'd still win, but you're a welcome sight. You're a sight for sore eyes, my friend. Boff. Oh my god, it gives us a little that's amazing. Well, that has made my day. Flippin' heck. I was just like, I was just gonna start a new game. No, 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 no. Dancing Goblin on the screen. Oh, wow. And no Jokers used, too. Zero Jokers. Unbelievable stuff. I mean, okay, again, I can't take full credit for this win. Thank you, Badgers. Thank you, Faraki. Um, but yeah, not bad. Not bad. I mean, Definitely this game went on for about three times as long as a game of Regicide should. Like, this really plays in, like, 20 minutes when you're just, like, going through it. But that was great. What an absolute... Oh, my God. I feel tired. I feel tired in my brain. My... I know, right? Yeah, like, thanks, chat. Like, <laughs> pretty much appreciated. Put that on the bingo sheet. Thanks for helping me through the win. My goodness me. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, that was that was probably three times longer than it needed to be. Although, you know, well, you guys know. You know how it goes. That, that's just how these streams kind of... these, these That's just how it goes um, on the channel sometimes when I'm getting distracted by things and getting told how to beat the game by the designer. Um, but, oh, man, I'm so excited. And now I'm, this is a high that I might never come back from. Um, this is a high I may never recover from. I'm gonna go away and play this again and just lose miserably and be like, I need I need Badger back. I need Faraki back. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to email you or something. I've got I've got two tens in my hand. But <laughs> Oh thanks, Milton. Oh brilliant. I mean, what's entertaining? I wish my I wish this screen wasn't cracked because you'd be able to see the absolute full glory of this. Look, he's got a little hobby horse. Oh, flipping neck. Go check out this game. Go check out this game immediately. There's a reason that it's on the hotness. We've confirmed. The hotness is hot. Oh, no. Never, ever again. No. Absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. Never. I'm just going to keep this private. This is my private game from now on. You're never going to see this. <laughs> never going to see this on the show. Actually, well, no. I need to Once I... Once the, once the fervor settles down and they get maybe a new print run, I am going to buy this. I mean... One, it's a full deck of cards, and who doesn't love a full deck of cards? And two, the artwork's fantastic. I'm just all for it. So, yeah, I, I, this, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Just brilliant. Brilliant stuff. The hotness is hot. Confirmed. It's the hotness. It's the hottest. And, and it deserves to be up there. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Crunchy, strategy, 
misery, joy, despair, goblins. I mean, what more can you say, really? I'm glad that we actually got this stream up and running. Thank you for sticking with me at the start there. That was a bit of a nightmare. Hopefully, if I actually follow through with what I was trying to do, we might have a bit... I, don't know, I mean, it won't be that much nicer, but it'll be, you know, it'll just it'll make me feel a bit more like a real streamer with a nice webcam and stuff. But as it is, this is working out just fine. And, uh, and here we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Lovely to chat with you. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Go try out this game. I'll put a link. Um, I put a link to it like three in the first three streams. I'm not sure if it's in this one. I'm going to have to retitle this video and everything. So I'll put a link to the game in the description. Um, and should I say bye faster? And, uh, and I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, <laughs> should I said bye faster. I, 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 uh, yeah, I feel like you're doing an impression of one of my commenters, but yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Absolutely, yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely game. Brilliant stuff. And uh, bye, everybody. See you later. Have a lovely evening. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.